Okay. Vlogmas day number one. This is, I'm gonna do life as a CNA for Vlogmas. Hello everybody, my name is Kimberly Brown and welcome back to my channel. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Okay, so tonight is December the 7th and um, when I came to work I had to do some one-to-ones. Um, when we mean one-to-one, -one, we mean that the patient has to be cared for as well medically as well as physically. So um, I have to look after a couple people. Now because of COVID, we do it on a monitor so that we're not physically in the room. Um, so one of the one of the drawbacks for that is that you're not right there on them, but you can get to them really quick if you're sitting by the room. But unfortunately tonight, I have some really busy people and sometimes they can get to you, you know, when you're telling them, stop getting the beds, da 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 da. And um, they don't know, they don't know any difference because some of them are suffering from Alzheimer's, some of them are suffering from dementia, and some of them just, um, you know, have CYM, some of them are just, um, you know, just going through some changes. But so this is my um, assignment tonight. So throughout the night, I'll be coming back and forth, letting you see what I do. But for right now, I gotta go to the bathroom and I can't take you with me. Working overnight, the good side about working overnight is that you're not around a whole lot of people. Sometimes it gets a little lonely, but it's good for if you really want a peace of mind so you can get your work done. I have developed some relationships <clears throat> in here um, from the patients. And um, because you know, because of the virus, no visitors are allowed. But I, so I have developed some relationships. So you can become a friend as well as a caregiver to the patients as well. And it makes, it makes life a little better when you have someone to talk to and you know, just keep you company because it can get very lonely. You know, so I always empathize with the patients that because they have to be here by themselves. So that's helpful that we're here, you know, to talk to them. As I'm sitting here, you know, watching the monitor, I just thought of something. Um, I'm I'm plateaued now on my bio. I mean, my um, fentanyl. It's like my weight just plateaued. So I decided to do some research and I'm insulin resistant. So I decided to take a supplement that will help with insulin resistant and to balance out my blood sugar level so that my pancreas won't store it as fat. You know, cause sometimes when you have a sugar, um, blood sugar overload, the um, the pancreas doesn't know that it's overload, so what it does is it takes it and it, it stores it as fat. And the majority of the time it stores it as fat around your midsection, and that's what's the biggest thing on my body. So I decided to start taking some chromium. I don't know if anybody ever heard of chromium, but um, it's like for people with insulin resistance. So I'm still going to do some more research on it, and um, so I'm going to go see if I can pick up that supplement or order the supplement and um, but first I'm going to run it by my primary care physician you always supposed to run stuff by your primary care physician so that's what I was doing while I was sitting here um, watching the monitor and um, it's really slow tonight because like I said I'm watching the monitor so I'm not doing my normal patient to patient care um, but if I was, I still couldn't show you, you know, there's a HIPAA law. You're not allowed to show people, you know, while they're in the hospital. So I don't need to show you bits and pieces like me doing certain stuff, but not with the patient involved. But, um, so right now, like I said, I'm just watching the monitor and, um, but that gives me a total of 14 pounds lost in one month. And that's not bad for, um, uh, losing weight. You know, you don't want to lose it. You don't want to lose it too, too fast. Um, I do have my second month supply. I went and picked it up. 
so now that I'm starting on my second month because this is December well mine's um activated December the what was it December the 4th I think it was December the 4th something like that so I'm going to start taking it so I already started taking it I'm sorry so, so I already started taking it but um okay so now that it's time for my lunch I'm about to come show y'all what I've had for lunch all right, my boyfriend, he makes my bags for me. And y'all want to see how much, look. My stomach going down a little bit. But it's not as going down as fast as I wanted to go. To, let me take this off since I'm the only one in here. It's going down a little bit, but it's not going down as fast as I wanted to go down. So that's why I'm going to try that chromium um, for insulin resistance. Because I've been doing my research, like I said earlier. And I know that I have some insulin resistance because my doctor did tell me that I might be pre-diabetes so that's when my sugar level don't know which way to go so they store so my pancreas stored as fat period but um let's get back to my lunch so I carry my honey because I don't eat sugar anymore in my coffee because I cut out the coffee so I won't have to use sugar so now I just drink green tea and here's my honey and here's another pack of green tea. Um, I get that brand, Big Low. So he made me some cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. He also made me some soup. So everything I eat is light. Like, I don't eat heavy foods no more. Um, tonight before I leave, I'm going to get on the scale here at work. It's in kilograms, but I will convert it for you. Or you can learn how to convert it yourself. Um, and what else in here? Oh, and an apple. There's my apple. So see, he's health conscience conscience of me trying to lose weight so i love him for that um that he really sticks by my side when it comes to losing weight he's not because he's the cook in the house i don't really cook so he's conscious of that where he you know um cooks for me and makes sure that i'm eating right um he's a squash kind of guy anyway he likes making squashes and zucchini and stuff like that so so I don't have no problem in the um meal prep area but you know I'm just not so it has to be insulin resistance because that's where it goes you know you know insulin can play a big part um with your health it can it can it can really play a big part with your health when your insulin blood sugar level when your blood sugar level is not balanced so, um, I'm going to eat my lunch, and then I'll get back to you. But I did have some other news I wanted to tell you guys. I have another job. I have a part-time job at a doctor's office. And what I do there is answer phones, make appointments, um, do some EKGs, um, you know, and assist the doctor with the patient as far as the vital signs and stuff like that. So... When I leave here this morning, I'll be going over to my second job. I've been doing this now for almost a month now, and um, I like it. It's a lot slower paced than it is being a CNA, because as you know, being a CNA is a lot of hustle and bustle. Um, so if you have down days on as being a CNA, you better appreciate it, because it's a lot of hustle and bustle. A lot of repositioning, a lot of turning, a lot of bathing, a lot of toiletry, it's a lot. Um, sometimes the patients just stay on the bell. Sometimes they're lonely. It's a lot. It's a lot being a CNA. So being a um, uh, working in a doctor's office, I'm not going to say I'm a medical assistant over there because that's not my title. I went to school for um, phlebotomy and EKG and CNA. For, so that falls into the patient care technician. But um. I got the job because our lady said I knew what I was doing, so yeah, which I do. And I was a receptionist before all of this. I started out when I was a receptionist at 19 years old, so that's why I'm able to put all of the things together 
and um, that's how I'm able to make that work. But um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So um, what else I want to tell y'all? Mm. And this soup is so good. It is light. It's chicken, black beans, rice, corn, onions, and peppers. And um, what else in here? And that's it. Yeah, and that's it. So I'm going to finish eating my lunch. And, um... Enjoy this 30 minutes. And then, um... Uh, it'll be always be time for me to go home. Because it's like 3 o'clock in the morning now. So let's see when it's time to get off. And I'll take you to my other job. Just want to show you my scrubs. You can see it. I have the straw string at the bottom, and these are my little Christmas socks. And um, these kind of scrubs I like to get kind of straw string at the bottom. And I pick up. I usually pick up my um, scrubs from um, CDs. Sometimes I get them from um, Foreman Mills. Sometimes I, I go to this this Chinese vendor called. Um, J and I think it's J and M, where they have a whole line of scrubs. So, if you're interested in scrubs, came in tri-state area. Now I'm gonna go watch the monitor until it's time to go home, and then start my second job. I'll take you along with me on my second job, or at least to the door, because you know I'm still practically new there. Let's keep it real. I have decided to cut this video short because they just got a cold and I really can't take you on my, my other job. I'm just new there and I don't want them, you know. So, thank you for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to love one another, okay? Peace.